Tom, do us a favor today. Uh, what is the definition of high value time? You know, I think it's very simple. Uh, Thoreau said it best. He said, do the thing, have the power. Do not the thing, have not the power. So do the thing and then have the power. Do not the thing, have not the power. Very simple. So the question becomes, uh, you know, what are the things that give us the power? And when people ask me, you know, how do I better organize my business or how do I better organize my time, I always ask the same question. What activities do you do that ultimately lead to successful transactions, better relationships, higher and more, uh, more greater opportunities to make money? So at the end of the day, it's do the things that give you the power. And I know today we're going to go uh, in depth on each one of those. So I'll, I'll kind of cut myself off early. But I would say to the listener, ask yourself the question, what gives you and your business the power? By answering that, you now understand high value time. That's awesome. You know, and, and coming from you, because, you know, I, I didn't really ask you the question yet uh, about coaching, specifically in real estate. Sure. And, you know, I'm kind of curious, you know, that's, a, that's an interesting uh, niche that you fill. Mm -hmm. And um, before I continue, just give me like a, a, just a brief synopsis of what exactly is a real estate coach? Um, I think a, a real estate coach, first of all, I mean, I'm, I'm blessed in that uh, myself and my family we've really helped to pioneer it in the real estate industry back in 1990 and 1991. Um, so, you know, we had the opportunity really to sort of create what coaching would be for the real estate space. So it certainly evolved over the last two decades. Today, what it looks like is it's, a, it's an outside counsel, someone that is, uh, has experience who can both save you time, money, stress, and anxiety by helping you plot a better course, an easier course, to help you achieve your goals faster and more efficiently. Um, there's a lot of talk about accountability. Certainly, I mean, you, you heard me do coaching calls before, and accountability is a big role in it, but, but I don't want people to get stuck on the only reason you hire a coach is to be accountable. Um, people hire me today more so, I think, because they're looking for ideas, inspiration, the right mindset, a better strategy to keep their passion right, and, and at the end of the day, of course, be accountable to doing the things that give them the power. So whether it's myself, and there's, you know, there's lots of other coaches available, um, you know, I think every one of them serves a different niche and a, and a different opportunity to serve. That's awesome. That's awesome. So in other words, it's a, there's a lot has to do with personality, and, okay. and, and actually the person you're coaching also has to be uh, driven to want to be coached. No Just doubt. like any athlete, Tiger Woods has a coach. I mean, no you know. Uh, every every uh, successful person seems to have someone that at least kind of helps them refine their direction and, and uh, stay on track. Yes, I, and I coach today uh, movie stars, uh, a rap star, uh, some attorneys. It's not just real estate agents. You know, everyone today is looking to improve the quality of their life, improve the quality it's of their business. It's a life coach. A absolutely. It's, I, I think of myself as a life coach in a business world, more of a life strategist, if you will. But at the end of the day, certainly in real estate, Think about the all the listeners are on the line today. The impact we could have in their life and in their business is is instant. Uh, John Stenberg, who's a client of yours and a client of mine down in Chula Vista, San Diego. Um, John started with me earlier this year on pace to sell 60 homes. In a matter of 90 days, he's now on pace to sell 140 homes. That's the power of coaching. Right on. But let's let's jump in. I know uh, we've got a bunch of questions. Let's let's uh, uh, you know first thing about high value time is is evaluating when we discuss this you know and I, I wanted to put this on the slide here is to evaluate every activity yes. so so let's talk about high value time activities uh, can you and, and what are the let's say top three to five uh, activities that you believe uh, at least if we're if, let's put it from the perspective that in this direction we do want to close more deals sure. okay so obviously with uh, high value time we can also look at how we're going to uh, have a family life better and all sure. it, it means a lot to different sure, people and, and so in this particular case let's talk about doing more deals because I think that, that you know once we can figure out a way to do more deals then, then we can start figuring out a way to make our life better too sure sure so if we keep it just deal centric just deal focused if you're taking notes um, I would I would write down this simple acronym we came up with 15 years ago follow your plan follow your plan it, at the end of the day it's P L A N it's Profit seeking. I don't like to say prospecting. Some people say prospecting. Um, prospecting to me is a bunch of dirty old men sitting by a river trying to find the gold. 
Well, you and I both know in real estate, we know where the gold is. So let's go profit seek instead. So profit seeking has to be done every day to keep your business growing. Second one would be lead follow up or setting appointments, following up on the leads, converting the leads. I know you and I talk a lot about both online and offline lead follow up and lead generation, so we'll discuss that today. Um, the second one, of course, is going on appointments. Um, I think back to uh, just five years ago, I was asked to sit down with, at that time, the number one coal banker agent in the state of California. Today's the number one agent in the world, per the Wall Street Journal, and has been for the last three years in a row, a guy named John McMonigle. John said to me, Tom, if I want to take my business from $140 million a year in sales to a billion dollars in sales, what do I have to do? And I said, you want just one answer? He said, yeah. I said, go on more appointments. It was that simple. We helped him take his business from basically going on about four appointments a week to three appointments a day. And in the process over three years, grew his business from $140 million to $480 million in sales. And Steve, that was in a declining high-end luxury market. So we know at the end of the day, if they profit seek, if they do lead follow-up every day, if they're going on appointments and making that their focus every single day, and then the last one end is negotiate contracts. Because at the end of the day, we've got to get customers to say yes to close deals, especially in today's market. You know, the, as the joke goes, most people are saying, selling the, three uh, the same house three times to finally get a paycheck. So negotiation. So profit seek, lead follow-up, go on appointments, negotiate. Those are the most important things an agent has to do today to be successful. I hope everyone's taking notes. I mean, this is uh, some phenomenal information. And, you know, it's, it's really, uh, you know, it sounds in some cases oversimplified. But in reality, keeping it simple, the KISS system is, is what really – most people are most successful with. Well, and I, I know one of the questions you're going to ask is, is what should we be doing in terms of profit seeking today? And that's where I think it gets complicated. 